What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today, I'm going to show you a cool little trick that, um, well, a lot of the artists have been using their songs recently. And if you can tell by the title here, Katy Perry, I got a couple questions on how Katy Perry got, got to use this effect in her songs. Well, I'm going to show it to you right now. The effect is basically the sound of, I don't know how to put it, but like leaving a club and the music sounds boxy and then going back in and it sounds all nice again. That's the effect that people are using their songs. I know Tyle Cruz uses it. Um, Here's the little track that I've been working on for I don't know who. I'm just working on it. Don't laugh at me. It's a little messy, but um, that doesn't matter. I'm going to play the song just so we hear how it is in, in its originality. Let's take a listen. All right, so that's the basics of the track right there. All right, so let's get to the effect. There's again, there's always a couple of ways in which you can go about to do this effect, but this is the way I like to do it, and I will show you two other ways after this as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my EQ, and all we're going to be using in the EQ is the low pass filter. So I'm going to go ahead and play the song, and I will do the effect in real time, and you will hear what I mean with with regards to the effect and what effect we're talking about here. Okay, so let's hit play. So now I'm going to start to cut out all the highs. I'm going to bring it back up. And, and that is the effect right there. Basically cutting out all your highs till it sounds boxy and you get all the lows and the mids. And then you're going to bring it back up to get the highs in again. That's what Katy Perry's been using in their songs and a couple other artists as well. All right, way to do number two. I'm going to change this EQ and I'm going to bring in my... Uh, single band high cut so what that means i'm cutting out the highs and keeping the low so again let's go to the beginning and i'll play it in real time i'm just gonna set this all the way to the top and let's press play And that is way number two. All right, so now that I've been doing everything in real time, I didn't actually record my steps and didn't tell the computer to play with it. So when we export the song, it's going to be there, right? So let's record my steps into the computer. I'm going to bring back up one of the plugins that we just did. So EQ, uh, single band EQ, high cut, which again, cuts out the highs and keeps the lows, which is the effect we're going for. And I'm going to turn on my automation. Usually what automation I turn on, the first thing I do is touch because touch, it goes right back to where you left it when you started the automation to begin with, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to bring this back up to the full range of audio. And you see right here, I'm just going to move my mouse, this area right here, as I move this, that is the automation for the high cut filter e plugin. So let's go to begin the song and I'm going to press play and watch this as I press play. All right, now I recorded my automation. Now I can go back and press play and we can hear the automation that I just recorded. And there you have it, the wonders of automation, the Katy Perry uh, little effect that she's using right now amongst other artists. There's your, I didn't actually, I don't have the name who asked the questions, the people who asked the, about this, but uh, thanks for the question. If you have any more questions, you can always ask. I'll try and do a video on it. Subscribe, watch my videos. And well, I'm back to uh, continuing this song right here. So later guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Later.
Classes now out of session.